she told me one of the main reasons that we are not allowing you guys to use the event next year was because um, you guys were praising Jesus and you guys are singing about songs about Jehovah. And that really, I mean, that really shocked me. It's a music festival that Voices of the Nations, a nonprofit Christian group, has been holding at Young Dundas Square for the last five years. But organizers say they were denied their permit for next year's event because during their festival in August, their songs praised Jesus and God. Unexpected coming from an event manager and coming from a city representative itself. Uh, I know that in the past year, Oh, Yelami says this is a recording of a phone conversation between him and the Young Dundas Square event manager, which took place last week. Oh, Yelami says he was told performers were proselytizing, trying to convert people to Christianity. Oh, Yelami says last year, Young Dundas Square management did raise concerns about the Voices of the Nations event, saying that they were people on stage who spoke and preached about God. So this year, Oyelami says, they stuck with just the singing. What do you mean? Like, Do we mean like speaking like, or just singing? Well, it doesn't matter if it's speaking or singing. Either way, if you're praising Jesus, praise the Lord, if there's no God like Jehovah, that type of thing, that's proselytizing. The Young Dundas Square performance and display policy does state performances displays must not advocate a specific political or religious point of view for the purpose of proselytizing. We're all the believers, that's pretty much it. No, nothing to try to comfort anyone. We're trying to change anyone's mind. These are some of the past letters of endorsement the organization says it has received from then Councilor Doug Ford and Anna Bailau, asking for the rental fees to be waived for Young Dundas Square. Everyone has the right to do that, to proclaim their beliefs, whether you are an artist or or a religion, it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. you, it's a public square. Voices of the Nations started this petition two days ago, asking for the mayor's help and for Young Dundas event management to reverse its decision. We're told the petition has received about fifteen thousand signatures so far. To me, this is a violation of our rights. Repeated emails and calls to Young Dundas Square management and local councillor and YDS board member Kristen Wong Tam were not answered as of airtime. We reached out to the mayor's office and we're told they're looking into the matter. Voices of the Nation says they're going to see what happens over the next few days and if nothing changes, we'll consider legal action. At Young Dundas Square, Ana Vlacos, City News.